Hello, this is Isaac Harper with ATG and today we're going to go ahead and expand on fields and I want to show you how to create and use a custom field. First of all, a custom field allows you to be able to create a generic piece of text information that can be updated and globally changed throughout your entire drawing. So for example, let's say that we have a part number or a model number that we want to use but we haven't quite heard back from a subcontractor saying which model number that is but we're trying to annotate all of our drawings with that model number so we would like to put in a placeholder for it here's how you go and create a custom field first of all you can either go to the application menu and come down to drawing utilities and select drawing properties or you could type in DWG props on the command line to bring up the drawing properties dialog box. Now there are several tabs in here but what we mostly want to take a look at is the custom tab and here is where we can add and create our own custom annotational field. All we have to do is click add and inside the add custom property we're going to go ahead and put in model and the value for this is going to be ABC-123 from here when I hit OK you will notice that it will go ahead and store it in there if I already hit OK I'm now ready to go ahead and insert this into my drawing so I'm going to start with the text command and I will type in my note Once I get to the portion where I wish to add the field, I'm simply going to select the field button and you will notice that under the categories, if I'm on all, you will see that there is now a model field and you will see our values in there. Now you can also, since this is an annotational field, we can force, regardless of how it was entered, everything to be uppercase, force everything to be lowercase, force everything to be first capital, or title case. If we say none, it will be put in the exact same way it was written inside the Drawing Properties dialog box. Since I see that it's lowercase, I'm going to go ahead and change it to uppercase. Once I hit OK, you will notice that it is now gone ahead and added that value. Now I want to bring up something real quick and this holds true for all fields. You will notice that there is a gray background. That gray background does not plot. For example, if I were to type in plot and I were to choose a device and do a preview, you will notice that it will print normal. That gray background is only to let you know that this is a field so that the people that are updating this know not to change that information because it will automatically be generated by something else inside the file. Now, to update this, it's fairly easy. So for example, let's say that we had this note several times throughout our whole entire file. Well, when it comes to updating it, all we have to do is go back to the drawing properties simply select the value in here and we will now call it XYZ and 987. Once I hit OK, all I have to do is regenerate the drawing as normal and voila, it automatically updates that model number everywhere it would exist in the drawing. So to sum everything up, now that you know how to create a custom field, you can create as many as you need inside your AutoCAD drawing. It doesn't have to be linked to an AutoCAD entity, and you can update your information globally from just a dialog box. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this AutoCAD quick tip.